2017 was a great year for smartphones. I mean, we saw some great innovations. We saw phones with some gorgeous bezel-less displays. We saw some great camera phones. Phones with 120Hz displays. Phones with 8GB of RAM. Wait, that was an innovation. But you get my point. But what about 2018? Well, from the looks of it, 2018 seems to have some great things in store for us when it comes to smartphones. Well, we are talking about that today. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from Bebomb.com and today we are talking about technologies that we think will become smartphone trends this year. Before we talk about smartphone trends of 2018, make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post new videos. Now that you have done that, let's talk about the smartphone trends. Last year we got a ton of rumors suggesting that the iPhone 10 and other flagships will come with on-screen fingerprint scanners. Well, that did not happen. Apple did remove the fingerprint scanner from the iPhone 10, but there was no fingerprint scanner on the display. Well, 2018 should be the year when a lot of phones with on-screen fingerprint scanners are launched. I mean, Qualcomm and Synaptics have already introduced underscreen fingerprint scanner technologies. So it's not like the technology is not there. And companies are already gearing up to launch phones with an on-screen fingerprint scanner. Vivo has just launched its very first phone with an on-screen fingerprint scanner. And from the looks of it, it seems to work really well. Vivo is said to be using Synaptic's ClearID on-screen fingerprint scanner, which is also said to bring various advantages when compared to traditional scanners. It's said to work with wet fingers, which is really handy. And it even brings various security features like anti-spoofing technology, AES encryption and more. With Synaptic mass producing these scanners, we can expect a lot more phones to come with on-screen fingerprint scanners in the coming months. Popular phones like the Galaxy S9 and the LG G7 aren't rumored to come with on-screen fingerprint scanners, but we can expect phones in Q3 and Q4 to come with these scanners. Either ways, this is a very interesting development and I cannot wait to try it out. Love it or hate it, Apple has always started trends. I mean, Apple removed the headphone jack, other companies followed. Well, the same seems to be happening with the iPhone X Face ID tech. I mean, I'm no big fan of iPhone 10 or its Face ID's unlocking technique. But the Face ID tech on that iPhone 10 notch is just very impressive. I mean, the way 3D maps your face is just amazing. Plus, developers are making some great apps using this tech. Well, this innovation has made sure that every other manufacturer is now bringing facial recognition features on their phones. OnePlus brought the face unlock feature to OnePlus 5 and 5T. And while it's not the same tech as iPhone 10's Face ID, it works really, really well, and might I even say, faster. Honor and Asus have also started including face unlock features in the phones. Huawei even showed off a face recognition tech that looks almost identical to the one Apple uses in the iPhone 10. They even copied an emojis. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Well, I think 2018 will be the year when almost all the phones out there will have facial recognition of some sort. AI was the buzzword last year. I mean, just look at any event from the past year. The only two words you'll ever hear is AI and machine learning. Well, along with AI in various services, we also got phones with dedicated AI chips. The Pixel 2 came with a visual core chip, which is an AI chip for better camera processing. Apple's latest A11 processor used in the latest iPhones also has a neural engine, which results in better facial recognition and overall phone performance. Huawei's Kirin processors have a dedicated AI chip for faster performance, better camera processing and various AI features. So dedicated AI chips and AI in various chipsets is definitely becoming a norm. I mean the recently announced Snapdragon 845 chipset, which will be powering most of the flagships this year, will be able to process AI and machine learning processes on the chip itself. So it's safe to say that yes, most phones this year will be using AI for better performance and better camera processing. Plus, this will also ensure better privacy as all the data analyzed will be localized. This is definitely a win-win. The on-screen fingerprint scanner, AI and facial recognition are something that we expect to become smartphone trends in 2018. But there are a lot of other technologies that might catch on. For example, phones with triple cameras. 
I'm not kidding. The next Huawei flagship is said to be coming with triple cameras. One monochrome sensor, one RGB sensor and one zoom sensor. We don't know how well it will work, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. AR should also become more prominent. I mean thanks to AR kit, iPhones already have a ton of great AR apps. By the way, you should check out our video on AR kit apps. Android on the other hand has AR stickers which are a lot of fun, but they aren't very useful. Apart from that, there are some other trends that I'm really hoping for. Like I hope that makers start using USB-C on all the budget phones. And we see more phones with water resistance. I'm also secretly hoping for the Galaxy X or Galaxy 10 with the foldable display. And the Surface phone. I'd really like to see how Microsoft pulls that off. Well, those were the technologies that we think will trend in smartphones in 2018. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you enjoyed it. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.